Okay, now, seeing as how there's a uh, home away from home quest, here's the problem. We gotta go do the stranger in trouble quest to enable the Grange. And the Grange is important because not only do they supply coffee, but they also offer construction advice you can't do everything yourself. if you progress through their quest line long enough. Oh, she said... Oh yeah, that's right, I'm tired. Well, I don't, I don't want to lose... I don't want to use influence unless I have to. So, I'm going to grab a coffee. Take one for the road. And if I have to, I'll use the pastor's, like, support ability. Which restores your max stamina. Let's see, which way am I going? But I think going... I think going... This way is faster, going to the right. So the reason why you need to actually uh, rescue this stranger and make the Grange, well, basically trigger the Grange to become a settlement or discover it, whatever, is like I was saying earlier, they can supply coffee and when you get in good enough with them, they will offer construction advice that you can call in over the radio, which really cuts down on building time. And oh look, there's a, there's a warehouse there. Okay, well now I've discovered that warehouse. Uh, not sure what's in there. I can probably check back at a later point in time, but the main objective right now is to rescue this stranger so that the Grange can be discovered on our map and be like a friendly settlement. And then after that's taken care of, uh, what you need to do is like, like press up on the D-pad to manage your home base. And then basically have Lily Ritter search for construction supplies because when you're ready to move to the actual um, the actual trucker depot, which we will discover down here, I'll show you where it is. You're going to need a fuck ton of building materials. And construction advice really helps. This is a trucker depot right down here. And it's going to take a lot of work. Anyway, since I'm in the area here, I might as well take care of the survey on the tower. Come on, Maya. Let's see. I think you get up on the dumpster. Yeah, that's it. You get up on the dumpster, not the wood, not the wood, uh, what do you call those? Pylons, pallet, pallets, wooden pallets, that's what they are. <laughs> I'm there, I'll take a look around. Got some houses, got some storage. That's not a normal zombie. That's a fat boy over there. That's not a normal zombie. That's a SWAT zombie. I see some place worth a scavenging run. Another house. Spotted a weird one. SWAT zombie. House. Is that it? God damn, that's a lot of them. Yeah, that is a lot of them, Maya. 
Is there anything else around here? Doesn't look like it. All right, now it's time to go rescue this stranger. Another survey point? Where? Oh, shit. That's right. That was Fat Boy right there. Another Fat Boy. Holy shit. Yeah, fuck you, Fat Boy. Fucking asshole. Wait, that's another survey point right there. What kind of name is Madaleno? That sounds like the name of uh, of a liquor, like an expensive liquor. Liquor, like um, uh, what was the name of that famous Mexican tequila? I think it was called Patron. You know, since I'm in the area, I might as well survey everything so that I know where I can go. That's why I'm doing this. Taking my on a scouting run. Made it. Gonna look around now. Another fat boy down there. See that house over there? It's a pile of shit. Never use that one. And I'll say again, the trucker depot way over there is the nicest damn home you can ever have in this game. Why would you have a fucking campsite right next to a fucking house? Vehicles. See another house there. Another vehicle. Campsite, I guess. Yep. There's the courthouse down there. Bunch of offices. Ooh, a pharmacy. Nice. Warehouses. Office. SWAT zombie house. That's a house. Vehicle. That's all uncovered on the map now. Let's get to that next survey point and then help the stranger. You gotta be careful. I'm down to two pancakes and two snacks, and I'm out in the boonies. Get in the car! That's just a standard SUV, not a special one. Alright, so this one right here, you have to hop and jump over the fence in order to get in there. So what you want to do is um, position your car right like this so that when you hop over the fence, you can get right in it. And just going to get on top of the tower so I can survey all this. Looks like it's starting to get late. I got to finish this up and do that stranger in trouble thing. Made it. Going to look around now.
There's a building we'll want to check out. Another time. Hey on. Did Lily discover any new survivors? Another stranger in trouble, so I can do that one next after this quest line one is done. Got a house over there. Another house. Offices. Why would you even think of going there? That's not a good idea. Oh, police department. Awesome. Oh, that's funny. Hey, look. The police department is right next to the donut shop. Mm -hmm. Got some construction sites down here in storage. There might be building materials if we actually need them. I'm hoping to get most of them up in the boonies, though. I see some place worth a scavenging run. What the hell is that over there? Abandoned site. Vehicle. There There's a campsite way over there, it looks like. Around the bottom of the... The actual hill there. So it seems. That's not a normal zone. Oh, wait, what's that? Auto dealership? Maybe there's a firearm in there or something. Who knows? What's that over there? House. Hang on. I House. Coming in, I think. Charlie Actual, this is Charlie Six. We got a bunch of civilians heavily engaged with Zed about a half click down from our position. Requesting permission to assist. Uh, negative, Charlie Six. Say again, negative. Remain on station. My ass remain on station. These people are getting their asses handed to them. Do you hear me, Charlie Actual? Charlie Actual. Looks like we're on another army mission. I'm, I've been so busy, I missed the one to do with calling in the artillery. So I'd better get on... I'd better get on that mission once I take care of this one. I gotta take care of this one down here. Don't want to miss it. And then I'll go do the army mission. I'm on it. We appreciate it. Last we heard from him, Jack should be somewhere in this vicinity. Now let's get looking. Yeah, let's hurry the hell up. I gotta go do that army mission. Just think we gotta look at the big picture here. We all like Jack, but let's face it, the guy's probably dead. Oh, 
Oh, the door's left open. Maybe he's in here? Hey, are you in there? There he is. Holy shit, am I glad to see you guys. You didn't think we were gonna leave you out here, did you? How did you even find me anyway? We had a little help. I, I don't know what to say. I'm not sure I would have survived out here on my own. We'll follow you. Let's move. Damn it. So what happened anyway? Oh man, I was stupid. I was searching this garage for some gas for the generators when I heard some of those cops from the courthouse start coming up the street. I mean, I don't know, maybe they would have left me alone, but I heard those broadcasts. I didn't want to take any chances. So I jumped out the back window, and of course, what happens? I land right in the middle of a goddamn vortex. Please tell me that you're joking. I managed to get clear, but they were right on my ass, and I was low on ammo. All I could do was hole up in an empty house and hope that they got bored. That's our place. Thanks again for all the help. Hey, why don't you come inside? The least we can do is feed you. Oh, thank God. If you ever do something that incredibly stupid again, I will kill you, okay? Hi, Becca. Don't you hi, Becca, me with your aw shuck small town charm. I can't believe you. We need to stay close to home. Jack could have died out there. I couldn't risk that. No, you just risked everything we have by leaving this place undefended. But I'm glad you're home safe. Well, you can thank our friend here for that. We'd have been in real trouble otherwise. Okay, I admit it. I'm impressed. You happy? I just unlocked the construction advice. Let's go do the army mission. Oh, wait, hang on. Lily. Lily, you need to search for building materials right now. Let's see, there's the army guys. Not going to meet the judge just yet. Scavenger. See, I told you, note up in the top right screen. Coffee. Anybody who wants to avoid court martial, stay where you are. Everybody else on me. Copy that, Sarge. Let's pot some hay. Let's move. Hold up. Let's take care of this part. <coughs> <coughs> You were saying? Well, at least somebody's got our six. Hey, try not to shoot us in the back, okay? All right, now we got to go save the survivors that are under attack inside. Then there's a lot of them. Well, oh, 
That was exciting. Whatever you say. All right, all right. I apologize for all the times I implied I'd shoot you in the head if you kept breaking quarantine. Tell you what, I've got some pull with the artillery pukes attached to my unit. I supply them with seized whiskey, and they rain hellfire on any hordes that happen to notice me and my boy. You get in a tight spot, give them a shout on the radio. I'll get the cannon cockers to send you a special delivery. But uh, we should get moving. That fight's going to draw more of them here soon. I'll see you around. Thanks, bro. All right, so now by doing that, now have Death Room above to call in an artillery strike. You toss down your, you toss down the marker. That's what it says. Gives you an artillery marker. Toss the item to call in an artillery strike. Kind of like a grenade, like a smoke grenade, I guess. And then construction advice. That's going to help us construct um, our base and whatnot. Not ready for the courthouse, Lily. Not yet. Let's see. Uh, what I should do is prime the home away from home quest and at least get that one done and ready. And then I guess I'll go visit the courthouse. Wait, where am I going? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Shit, 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 shit. Get in the vehicle. Get in the vehicle. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's a fucking feral. Fuck you, asshole. Holy shit. Oh my god, that was a close call. Oh my god. Let's ditch this and get back in my real car. Fuck, dude. Fuck, dude. That was dirty. Did you fucking see it? That was dirty. He was waiting right outside that fucking, you know, event location for me. Oh god, I gotta babysit again. Really? What do you mean? I can't do everything myself. You fuckers aren't doing anything. I have been doing everything myself. Get the fuck off me, fat boy. Get the fuck out of here. Well, shit. There's a fucking fence there. What else is new? Let me guess. It's gonna be Ed. It's probably gonna be Ed. How the fuck do I get out of here? Oh, that's a bloater. Don't run into those. See that creepy old man in underpants? If you hit one of those or if they gassed you, you will lose pretty much all your health and stamina. Damn, I'd, I had a tough time driving here. Oh, that was cool. That was cool, though. Caleb, you idiot. Three more minutes and then building materials. I'll keep spamming those and I'll just find caches around the map that I can look at. And then I'll just... I'll just spam them and use construction advice to make everything happen at the trucker depot. Once you get the trucker depot up and running, that's really all you need. Traction really made me think about the direction I was going. 
got out of the hospital, and I swore I was going to clean up my act, get sober, and turn my life around. And then the dead started rising from the grave and eating people. Fuck it, I need a drink. Well, that's uh You got it from here? That's an interesting story. Wait. Where's my damn rifle? Son of a bitch. There's only one place it could have been. There's only one place it could be. And I could have, what could have happened is I mistakenly put it in the back of that pickup truck. Where's that pickup truck? I think that means there's cargo on board the pickup truck, so I got to go all the way back down there now. I think Maya's rifle is in there. I got to get that back if that's the case. So I'm going to head way back down here. Man, that sucks. I mean, at least I escaped. At least I killed the feral in the car. This has turned out to be a very hilarious and kind of fucked up playthrough with everything that's been going on. Did I put the rifle in the back of the truck? Yeah, I did. I fucking did in a panic. Oh, now I got Maya's rifle back, and rightfully so. So it's got a suppressor on it with like 25 shots left, I think. Let's go hit up that armored Zed hunt on my way back. It's the freaks we really got. Ready to move. Come on. Let's move. Come on, bro. Get in the car. Oh, is that him? Yeah, it's him. Got him. There we go. That'll ease the tension a little bit. Uh, how's morale doing? Oh, uh, it's almost a full green bar. That's great. That is awesome. Sure. Cool. Let's head down towards Marshall. I think I know a place that might suit us. Or we can just drive around for a while and see what we see. Your call. No, we're going right to Marshall, bro. And then after that's done, it looks like I missed out on helping those survivors. Damn it. This game is moving as f this game is moving as fast as I am, or faster in some instances. What the fuck, man? You used to be able to take your time. I guess they did a lot of patches. What was that with you and Lily? Mm, it's a long story. Not much on the radio to fill the time. Good point. My mom died when I was 13. Lily was nine. Sorry. Yeah. Anyways, not long after that was when Lily was diagnosed. My dad, he was, um, he was kind of a wreck. I had to pick up a lot of that slack. Jacob, I need you to be a man. Help take care of your sister. It was a lot for a kid to live up to. I didn't handle it well. And as soon as I turned 18, I told my dad that I was moving to Danforth and I was going to college. Yeah? Oh, man. Man, he blew up. We had a huge fight. Didn't talk for years after that. I finally got back in touch with him just a couple of months ago, actually. And this was my first visit home. Anyway, I don't think Lily's quite forgiven me yet. Let's see, can I go around this way? Yep. Now, let me check the map. Where am I right now? Okay, it's down over here. So I take this route. Take this road. And follow it into town.
Well, what do you think? Check this place out. It's got a big yard, a privacy wall that we could fortify pretty easily. And check out that tree fort. We could turn that into a watchtower easy. You seem awfully excited about this place. Yeah, well, yeah, when I was a kid, my best friend Sally, she lived in this house. And I was so jealous. I always wanted to live here. Well then, let's take a look inside. Jesus! Rose, can't see. Help me. What the hell was that? I'm not sure. That... that didn't look like any disease I've ever seen. You? Uh-uh. Maybe we gotta go, huh? Come on, Jacob. You're falling behind, bro. Well, we got one option at least. There might be more out there if you look around. I'll think about it. Sure. Big decision, I get it. Just remember, tree fort. Fuck your tree fort. Alright, let's see. Do one more sweep. Make sure everything's <laughs> Requires 12 people and 50 materials. That's not even counting startup costs for building everything else. So I got my work cut out for for me. Hey, I don't want to panic you, but we may have a problem. What happened? I've been talking to some of the other survivors. A bunch of them are talking about some new disease that's been hitting their people. I think we just saw it. Yeah? Well, better stock up on meds. Pastor Will's not looking so great. 